Hi, it's Alex from Payne's Garages again. We thought we'd take a little bit of time out today to tell you a bit about our company's history. We've been serving Hinkley in the surrounding areas now for a little over 110 years. The company was founded in 1907 by our current director's grandfather, John Payne. He started repairing cycles in 1907 Hill Street at his mother's house. When the need for bicycles started to die out, he then moved on to motor vehicles. He started assembling these, the Model T, and from then he was awarded the franchise for Ford in 1922. We've been at our Hinkley A5 site now since 1937. During wartime, it was taken over by the Ministry of Aircraft Production to start producing munitions. And since then, we've been selling vehicles. I'd like to take a little bit of time now to show you around our Model T and why we are so proud of it. Between 1908 and 1927, Ford managed to produce a whopping 15 million Model Ts. They were made on the first ever moving production line as invented by Henry Ford. At the time, they cost you a little over £2,000, but we'd like to think ours is worth a little bit more than that nowadays. And you could have them in any colour as long as it was black. We decided to paint ours blue to match our company shirts. At the time, they came with keyless ignition. However, you needed to feel strong in the morning to move the cranking handle. Otherwise, there was no chance of getting to work. They came with a 2.9 litre petrol engine, three times the size of that of our EcoBoost engine. They produced 20 horsepower instead of our usual 100 horsepower, and they only had two gears. The vehicle was made of steel and wood, so didn't have any chance of getting an end cap rating, so you wouldn't want to be in an accident in it. The Model T came with a surprising amount of space. Not much at all. No power steering, a little bit of air conditioning, and intermittent wipers, but only if you can juggle all of the controls. Of course, we are joking. You've got to bear in mind this vehicle is a little under 100 years old. It was one of the first affordable cars for the masses, and we are so proud of its history, and that of Ford and Paynes. Oh.